looks than Swift. On Maruti Suzuki Arena presents ESPN Trigon for Match Day. We look ahead to Afghanistan versus Sri Lanka on Monday in the World Cup. And the fact that both these two teams managed to get the better of England makes this a significant contest. They're still in the running for the semi-finals and they now move to Pune as we look ahead to that game with Steve Armisen and Cheteshwar Pujara. I think team selections is the first talking point here, Puji, especially uh, given it's a completely different uh, set of conditions in Chennai and now Afghanistan are in uh, Pune. Fazal Akfaruki was dropped. They went with four spinners against Pakistan. Surely they need to sacrifice one of those? I think Noor Ahmed goes out of the team. Mm. Uh, although he bowled really well, he picked up uh, three wickets. But I still feel uh, if you're playing at Pune, where the stats suggest that uh, that's the worst uh, bowling conditions for a spinner, yep. uh, that's where I think uh, Faruqi comes in and you need an extra uh, seamer uh, in those conditions for sure, without any doubt. I mean, this, this contest would be very different if the results against England had gone the way that perhaps most of us, certainly mm. you and me, expected, uh, Hami. But as there's still a lot more to play for in this and the fact that they've beaten England at this stage, does this make it a, an even game, this? Almost a contest that you can't call? Yeah, I think Sri Lanka will go in, still go in as favourites. I think mm. slight favourites. And there's, there's a hell of a lot in this game. They can yeah. both qualify for semi-final. The way the Champions Trophy looks as though it's going to be top eight. Mm. You want to be in the top eight in the, in the, in the table. And so whoever loses has the, the possibility of just completely sort of yeah. you know, nosediving towards the bottom end of it. So there's that to play for. Um, and they're both in decent form. You know, I, I don't think Sri Lanka had to work hard to beat England. I really didn't. I, mm. thought, they, I thought they didn't have to work hard. I thought England, England played that poorly, Sri Lanka, and that will give them a huge amount of confidence. Not only did they beat England, but they beat them comfortably. So, yep. um, as a Kumara, he's injured yes. out of the tournament. That's a blow because he got three for, but he got three for thirty-five against England, and he yep. bowled really, really well. But. Angelo Matthews, Angelo Matthews will have to stand up. Mm. Jamir has now been included in that squad. He's, he's got some skill. Yeah, but it, it, I, I think Matthews, just that with the seam option, give you that little bit more experience to bowl a few more overs. And I think it, out of this game, what I've noticed in this tournament so far, it's top, the top four batters against the top four batters. If Afghanistan's top four batters fire, yes. wow, they, they, are, they are destructive. And so are Sri Lanka's. So early wickets. Um, could be the key in Pune, which the, obviously the ball's going to obviously seem a yeah. more than more than spin. And that's what we did. we saw from Ramanullah Gurbaz and Ibrahim Zadra and Rehmat Shah against Pakistan. Their top four, when they do well, this team's you can say that about anyone really. But yes, in this team in particular, they don't quite have the depth. So when their top four fires, that makes Afghanistan a serious threat. Uh, as far as Dushmanta Chamira goes, we've always seen in small patches the talent of Chamira who comes in. Looks like whoever's coming into the Sri Lankan team is. Coming in, the, hitting the ground running. You see him getting a game straight away. Chamira in Pune, that too? I think he should. Uh, but uh, we have seen the way Angelo Matthews bowled in the last game. Yeah. Uh, he was effective with the bowl as well. And uh, that's where I feel Angelo brings a proper balance into the Sri Lankan team. Where, you know, he's quite effective with the bowl, but he can bat as well. Uh, he, he has that experience. And uh, because of him, I think Sri Lankans will be the favourites to win this game. They mm. are... We are looking at a venue which, uh, which favours the batters and Afghanistan, they rely heavily on their uh, spinners and uh, on that surface, spinners wouldn't be effective and that's why I feel Sri Lanka has uh, a lot of advantage playing yeah. over there and uh, even their batters are in form now. So, I think it's Sri Lanka who, Sri who might yeah, win one. comfortably. That's, what, that's they, mine. They played a very dramatic game in the Asia Cup. They know each other well, these two. So, it should be a good one. But thank you to Steve Amerson and Cheteshwar Pujara. Afghanistan versus Sri Lanka and Pune is the game on Monday in the Cricket World Cup. This was Maruti Suzuki Arena presents ESPN Cricket for Match Day. Stunning looks than swift.